All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechak, Kudash. Double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation and much love to you. I came out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. And uh, I just want to do a quick video on a, on a dream I had this morning. Um, you know, pretty much it, it, was, uh, it was myself and two other brothers in the, in the camp. Uh, Mayama and Kanakala, and um, yeah, I can't remember exactly the what was going on, you know, around us. But I I know we were in some kind of, you know, we were in the city. Not we weren't in downtown, but we were walking through the city. You know, it was it was daylight, daytime, and you know, all of a sudden, and it's through the spirit because we were talking about this at camp. Uh, or we got like the Amber Alert, but it was about the nuclear missiles. You know, and then you could hear the sirens in the background, and everybody's starting to run and go crazy. And uh, so, so we, you know, we start running, but we're, you know, we're screaming, you know, Kahalai, how about you, I'm shy. You know, and and we, I look up, and there's nothing but chariots. There's thousands and thousands of chariots everywhere, you know. And then there's some fighter jets, but um, the fighter jets were getting shot down, you know, and they're, they're you know, they're, they're coming crashing and getting blown up. So people, you know, people are getting crushed by these jets that are the chariots are destroying. And um, then you, you start to see the nuclear missiles in the distance, like flying through the air. They start exploding in the distance, you know, the mushroom clouds. And then, um, you know, we, you know, we get some separated, you know, you know, there's so I can see them in the distance, the two brothers. And then I look, I look back one, you know, to the sky, I think. And, um, you know, we're, we're, I'm still yelling, Kahalai, how about you, Shai? And then when I look back, you know, they were gone. And I was like, oh, shoot, what happened to them? I, and I thought they, they had got crushed by these jets or something because I didn't see them. And then, it, you know, there was jet debris over there where they were. And then, there's, and then, you know, it started to get windy. Real, It felt like wind was, you know, it was a, it was a great wind. And then... Um, you know, that's when I realized that they, the, the chariots had called them brothers up. And then I started, you know, when you ride a roller coaster, you know, you get that feeling in your stomach. You know, when you feel them G-forces. Well, that's what I started feeling. And then I, as I look up, I'm literally getting carried. You know, I'm getting pulled into the cloud, into a cloud, a literal cloud. That's what it looked like, you know. And, I, and as I'm going up, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, yelling, Brock, they how, Brock, they how shy. And then, you know, I literally woke up, you know, screaming that, you know, I was in the middle of saying, Barack, you know, Barack, and, and that's when I woke up. Yeah, I was screaming that. But, you know, it was, a, it was an intense feeling. It was like, you know, I could actually feel it, you know, being pulled up into the cloud. But yeah, that was it was it was a crazy spiritual dream. And the Lord's will, that's a vision of how we're gonna be delivered, you know, my taste of it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring out some scriptures. Alright, so um, you know, continuing on. This is uh I'm gonna go into the scriptures now. You know, just uh bring out some precepts that, that came to mind, you know, as I was meditating on the dream after I woke up. Um, you know, and just uh, what as well as that fine, but um, let's see where I can start. Well, yeah, I mean, we could start in uh, uh Revelation, I'm go to Revelation. <laughs> Revelation 12 and 7 It says And there was war in heaven Michael and his angels Fought against the dragon Which the dragon symbolic for Esau It says And the dragon fought And his angels So that was the You know Them chariots That was That was fucking um, Esau's military up You know And that's It's gonna be a landslide victory You know Cause that's how the Lord's gonna return He's coming with his host man Alright let's, let's get that in loop all right. Let 
This is a loop. 21. And uh, verse 20, he said, I'll just get to the, to the point. It says, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with, with power and great glory. All right, there you go. He, that power and great glory is going to be his host, man. And, and his and him being in that angelic meat body, you know, he could like he say he's not coming to meet them as a man. So when the Lord returns, he's going to be, you know, he's going to be Michael and his angels, you know. He's going he's gonna to be fighting against Esau, the dragon and his angels, man. Is his little space or you know chariots, all right? The little fighter jets, all right. That's why they got the entry, you know. They're building up the space force because they're preparing to fight against the Lord, you know. And, and not one chariot fell from the sky in the dream. It, it was all Esau's, you know, garbage falling from the sky, you know, crushing people, you know. And in the dream, you know, when I saw it, when I thought when I thought the brothers would have been crushed, it, it was really that you know they had been delivered. And that's 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 biblical, all right. This is uh First Thessalonians four, and, and sixteen says, "For the Lord Himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. Meaning that the ones that have died prior to the missiles coming, all right, is going to receive. Uh, they're going to be the first fruit, so to say. They're going to be uh, risen with them, with Yahweh Shai. They're coming back with them in those chariots." The mark. You know, let's say verse 17. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds. And that's exactly what happened. You know, after our, that, you know, that wind started blowing, which I perceived that to be them, that nuclear missile, you know, was getting close, you know, the heat wave or whatever, the waves of it. And, but, you know, and then that's when the brothers, you know, had disappeared, so to say. I didn't see them get beamed up, but, you know, that's what it, I realized that in the dream. And then um, that's when I start forgetting that feeling, that rush, you know, that, you know, that, that G feeling, that G force. And then start floating up into the, to the uh, literally a cloud and the dream was a cloud, you know. And um, this is the scripture right here, man. It says, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together. And this was and it's going to be simultaneously with those missiles, man. Cause that's what it was. The missiles were blown up in the distance, and you know they were far off. But you, you, we, so we see them start blowing up, man, and people freaking out while we're over there praising the Lord. <clears throat> it says, "Shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord." Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. All right, and that's what took place, man. So, and as soon as I touched the cloud, that's when I woke up, you know, and, and I'm, I was still screaming, you know. Saying Brock Day, you know, because uh, on the way up I was screaming Brock Day out, Brock Day out, shy. And then when I woke up, you know, it was still screaming that man. It was a beautiful dream. But what you know that showed me that hey, you, you can, you literally have to endure, like the scriptures say, Mark thirteen and thirteen, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And it literally was the end, man. The nuclear missile was on the way. You know that wind started blowing. All right, but what I would to that to that till I started floating up, and even then I was still praising the Lord. All right, you know, and the, Lord, the Spirit, the Lord keep on me in these in these last days. All right, so that I may uh, praise His holy and powerful name and glorify Him. You know, through through the faith that we show, that we truly believe that that He will deliver us in these last days. All right. And then let me get just close out on this. Um, when I'm talking about the wind. Alright, this is Jeremiah 51. Thus saith Yahweh. Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against that dwell, against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. Alright, that's that was that that was that wind, man. <laughs> Caused by the missiles. Alright. You know, so, you know, that got two things from that dream, the destruction and the salvation, man. And, you know, seeing the chariots, man, the thousands and thousands of chariots flying through the air. You know, I remember we got it when we right before the missiles started coming, you know, 
and we got that it was like an amber alert and you know that was crazy and then the sirens went off you know we were the only ones praising the lord in the vicinity you know and then that destroying wind came and that's what's going to take place in these last days man that's this is exactly how it's gonna go. Not exactly how it's gonna go down, but that's what's gonna happen, man. The nuclear missiles, there you go. For the air, the fight in the air, you know. And then ultimately the salvation of the uh, uh, the, uh, the the elect. All right. So with that, you know, Audubon Rasad is edifying and exhorting to you, brothers. Keep pushing. Shalom.